Hey guys, welcome back to another video. At CES 2016, the Paris based wireless technology company revealed the Disco, a first of its kind ready to fly wing shaped drone for consumers. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Back in January, it was still a project. As of today, Parrot announced that the Disco is on its way for $1300. Like Parrot's Bepop quadcopters and line of mini drones, the Disco is designed to do something anyone can pick up and pilot. And it is. The lightweight fixed wing aircraft, which is less than 700 grams, is made from flexible plastic foam with a single rear propeller strong enough to get the Disco up about 50 miles per hour for flights up to 45 minutes. The Disco has a system of sensors inside, like the accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, the barometer, and GPS and GLONASS. Plus, a pilot tube for airspeed helps newbie pilots to stay in the air. Parrot even gave the whole system a catchy name, Chuck, which stands for Control Hub and Universal Computer Kit. Chuck makes it possible to simply toss the Disco into the air and have it automatically ascend to 50 meters, at which point it will fly in a circle until you give it a command. Once you're up, Turning left or right is as easy as pushing a direction on the right control stick. And the same goes for changing altitude. The left stick controls acceleration. If you're used to flying a quadcopter, it takes some time to adjust to control changes. However, just because it's easy to get in the air and fly it around a bit doesn't mean you won't need some skills to keep it out of a tree. For the Disco, Parrot shrank the surprise Sky Controller available for the Beepop drones. The new, smaller Sky Controller 2 design is closer to a controller you'd get with a toy drone or a gaming system. But the Wi-Fi MIMO remote control still has a theoretical range of 1.2 miles. Above the controls is a holder for your smartphone for both iOS and Android. So you can use Parrot's Free Flight Pro app for a live view with telemetry. The app interface also lets you set speed altitude and distance limits and your wireless photo video settings. The drone also captures photos and videos to 32GB of internal storage. However, the Disco comes with Parrot cockpit glasses, a first person view headset that once you insert your smartphone and connect it to the controller via USB, gives you a view from the full HD camera in the nose. If you need to see something on the ground while you're flying, the cockpit glasses can switch to the view from your smartphone's rear camera. The biggest difference between piloting the Disco and a quad like the Bipop is that it can't hover in a place or fly straight back or to the sides. The Disco is constantly moving forward. What you can do is set it to a loiter, which will start it circling in a place while you regroup, contemplate your next move or get a drink. Parrot also lets you set a geofence to keep it from flying off and when it hits the set boundary, it will automatically return it to you. The first person view headset provides a good picture and Parrot said that the latency is about 250ms. This would seemingly depend on how much wireless interface you encounter while you are flying. There is no sense in a wide system either, so if it's headed straight for a wall or a tree, you're on your own. If you don't pull up in time or change direction, you'll crash. Landing can be done automatically with a button press or you can manually land it with the pressure sensors underneath helping to bring it in smoothly. Also, if you want to skip the autopilot stuff, you can bind the Disco to a regular RC transmitter and pilot it in a full manual mode. This means, if you start off a novice, the Disco is something you can grow with. Or, if you are already an experienced fixed wing pilot, you can tweak it to do much more. It is an altogether different flying experience from a multi-rotor, and because of its size, you'll need more space to fly the Disco. But if you have somewhere to fly and money is no object, the Disco's view from the sky is pretty incredible. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the video guys. Hope you liked the video. I can't really wait to try and test this drone myself. Feel free to leave a comment down below and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out. The experience of developers and other users led to more than 250 new features, including improved multitasking, stronger battery life, and also tighter security features. The new operating system also provides quick access to settings, so important features like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and the phone's flashlight are readily available whenever needed.